I've always wanted to try this. I saw a guy do this one time. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker of Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to our channel. I'm gonna come down here and do something that I don't get to do very often. I'm gonna show you guys Eleanor. I'm gonna hang out with Eleanor a little bit. I, I kind of, I don't forget about her, but I just don't spend that much time with her. She kind of is a, she just does her own thing. She's kind of by herself most of the time. You can kind of see the herd there, the main herd, and she's right here hanging off by herself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some cubes, I actually brought her a couple apples. I've heard that bison will eat apples, so I sliced up some apples for her. Just kidding. Um, and see if she'll eat an apple. Eleanor, get your butt over here. Before the big herd does, you're going to screw up. Come on. Come on, girl. Mm -hmm. It's about time. Come here. There you go. Hey, girl. You gonna try this apple? She ate it. Nope, oh, nope, she didn't. And that's what happens. She gets ran off by the by the boss right there, Queen Bee. I tried to feed Eleanor, but she, as you saw there, she got kicked around by the big herd. She doesn't like being um, up close to them very much. That's why she kind of singles herself out because they, uh, she's the runt of the group, unfortunately, but uh, she is the smallest one, so she's at the low end of the totem pole. But now she's uh, figured out I can go around this fence into this other paddock, and uh, she knows what's in the green bucket. Hey girl. Yeah. Pretty thing. See, she's always watching behind her to see if anybody else is coming but nobody's coming it's just me and you hey little little heifer throw you some they can't get to you
I ain't my whole bucket. I've always wanted to try this. I saw a guy do this one time. <laughs> oh boy. See, I was up here a little earlier and I already fed the main herd. I gave them some cubes and I came to check on them. But Eleanor, she's wise and has, she knows how I am and knows how when she sees Kevin or I, she can take advantage of it and she can get her some cubes. So she went all the way around and down, separated herself from the herd because there's a fence between them and she, uh, she's a smart girl for sure. It's good to have a little boost in there, Eleanor. She looks good other than that. I think maybe, so Eleanor didn't have a calf this year, but I think she was in heat when we let her go after we worked the bison in April. We put her out with the big herd. You can go back and watch that video of, of us getting her back with it was the dunbar herd at, at the time but then we switched big joe out i think she was in heat then and so uh she's pretty full right now she looks pretty good you know eleanor is just a she could be pregnant i don't know she may already be pregnant dunbar may have already bred her for now so she could be pregnant for all we know but she has had a calf before i know some of you are like gosh she's so small yeah she is small she is a different bison i don't even know how you explain it but she is just a different bison what i'm just doing right there you can't always do that with a lot of bison so those of you who are watching and think that you can go out and actually do that with um, just any bison you can't so i probably wouldn't try a lot of the things that i do i'm on the other side of a gate with her as you can tell but it's something that you don't want to try because not all of our bison, even my bison, not all the bison that you may see are like Eleanor. She's very special. She's very unique. As you can tell, that's just how she is. And she's always been that way. I would feel comfortable being out in the pasture with her, but alone. But other than that, you can't do that with all the bison. So and just a little disclaimer there for you guys to understand about Eleanor. She's just a different, different animal. Whoa, look out. Hey guys, thank you for watching today. I know it wasn't a lot of exciting stuff, but you know what? Sometimes it's just good to take time out just to see the bison. I know you guys are big bison fans and love just watching and seeing the bison. I can come down here and just hang out with them and, and just watch their behaviors and watch Big Joe right now um, trying to court some of these females. It's just fun to do that. I love seeing the calves changing colors on a daily basis and just hanging out with these awesome animals. You just got to take time and I just appreciate them. And I hope that you guys enjoy it, especially our unique one right here, Eleanor. She's just one of a kind, like I've always said. Anytime you can give her some special attention and a shout out, then um, I know you guys like Eleanor. And so 
I just um, wanted to give you an update on her and show you uh, show you the love that she gets around here. Even though she's at the bottom totem pole here, I know she's at the bottom of the hierarchy system, but she gets lots of love and plenty of attention, I promise you, from us. So look at the big guy. So I don't have nothing to do with you, I'm busy. Thank you guys for watching.